experience detection. Here is a structure being supported at various foundation level. Uh, so this is what we are going to be learning in this video. How to apply the fixed support to that structure and be able to support these structures at these various natural level 1, natural level 2, and as well natural level 3. And so before you go into this, you will have to carry out the soil test if you align this as undulated as you are seeing in the image here. Yeah? So you carry the soil test to be uh, to be sure that uh, the land is uh, stable enough for you to support your structure. Okay, so let's dive into product structure so we see how we can make this possible successfully. Stay tuned. So here we go in product structure. You can see what uh, I have done right here. Okay, so I uh, will be enabling a new project and I will show you how to actually apply this uh, foundation at what level so if you check very well over here i'm up to say, story 6 right here so if i should navigate to story 5 you can see we have story 5 east and then story 4 and after story 2 right here okay story 3 story 2 okay and then i have story 1 right there just like this okay so you see we have the green line is at story 1 okay is the natural ground level okay at this particular level okay so and then when you come down you see the foundation depth right there okay the same thing applied if I should not get to story zero right there okay story zero you can see the natural ground level where the green line is beneath the green line is the depth of the foundations you can see okay so now for us to achieve this I want to be enabling a new project because we're going to run analysis to see if there will be any error and then we will insert the uh, footings successfully here we go so as you can see i've already uh enabled my support so the support at the end of a column in the soil is always a fixed support okay so that has been applied to all of this column okay but in this case these two columns this one and this one all right i wanted to have the same height with this particular one the same depth of foundation with this particular one okay so after you have done with your modeling okay depending on the terrain okay i will just show you how you can actually apply a fixed support successfully so for instance if i have these two columns selected i can select the first one uh, with the shift key select the second one if i right click i can click on properties all right so in the property dialog this dialog right here what i will do i will navigate to this support type this support type i select here i can come to this edit wise and then click right there select these provisions i will change the support to none all right so we have default we have a uh, support one the support one i created it on my own which i will show you in this video how to create a uh, support okay most of these things i've taught my students who are at, at uh, advanced and master level in the use of this program so you can also join us okay for that program okay so you will know the integrity of product structure so now i will make it none i select that none i click on okay see so once i click on okay and i have to close this dialog so if you check those two uh, columns you can see there is no more support on it so i want to extend these two columns so they get this depth of this particular first one here okay so this column at this uh particular rule uh, or column is going to be at this uh depth all right then this will be the all of this will be at various another depth entirely and then this is the first depth all right so we get these two columns as well selected or the control key to select the two at once right click property again so for me to extend that i'll come to learn story edit story and then instead of one i'll gain two i click on okay and then after which i close so now this story this uh these uh, columns now have actually attained uh, the height okay the depth which i intended all right so the foundation depth that we have at this particular point also affect all of these other columns successfully so let's confirm the foundation depth if we select in this story right click and I click on the edit story so in the edit story dialog i have a foundation depth of uh, 1200 millimeters and i have a bottom story level of 450 millimeters okay so all of this all together we give us about a uh, 1650 millimeters which is the total depth okay so now that is the foundation depth that you are seeing i click on yes options to have that saved successfully so at this point i want to be applying or assigning supports to this uh to the end of this column okay i want to be assigning support to the end of these two columns right away okay i will show you how to create support in a minute so i'll select these two columns right click 
I'll right click and I click on its properties and then I will navigate to support type, select it right there, and then I click on the uh color wise settings and I'll select support one. Okay, now we have the four support, we have support one, all right. The four support is the support that is that is that that come with the program, okay. So that one you cannot use it at that various uh you know level okay of the foundations okay that one is used at the normal level which is this level that you see okay, okay? so but this other support uh the support one is the one i created which i can use it for any other level at all and as well i can create more supports like to give it a name support two which i will do that so shortly but at first we get this selected and then select these provisions and then in there we select support one which is the one that created click on okay see this has been you know fixed already okay in the sorry okay and the foundation depth is being applied to that column uh, successfully which if i navigate to that level uh that should be level one okay so you cannot see i'm having uh my foundation depth and then the ground level is very really like this okay so at this point i want to be showing you how to create support okay i'm sure you have to apply it so how do you create support what do you do you want to create a support you will need to uh you have to navigate to the modeling tab i want to save this project first okay this project is saved now i'll navigate to the modeling tab if you really see support type click on that so there will be a dialogue so you can see this dialogue support type definitions okay i've already defined a one which is uh, this uh support uh one right here and it is fixed okay you can see the pin and the roller support so it all depends on the support that you want to use but before you should add click on this add to create uh, any support uh, name okay you have to first of all select the the rest the restraints okay these are the restraints okay so if well, maybe i wanted to create a pin support i'll first of all select these two restraints okay so i'll have this selected and i click on the you know add button to be able to create and assign name to this particular pin support i have uh, selected the same thing applicable to ruler support so the support at the end of a column in the foundation is a fixed support so i will have to select this two fixed support and click on add so once i click on add you can see support i will just say support two i've already have support one right here support two is this one that i've created okay I click on the okay options so i have created this support two and this is a fixed support right here okay so this is how to create a support you can also rename it by selecting it and click on the rename right here so you can give it another name if you wish okay if not you leave it the way it is successfully so i've created a fixed support right away after we click on the okay option so that support i've created i will have to i want to for instance i want to use the support here okay that is the only support you can use at other level other than the default okay any other level that you want to create in your structure you want to you know uh, you know support your foundations at a uh, higher level than default it is the one you created that you can use effectively you cannot use the default okay the default is meant for this uh default level of product structure okay so now if i want to apply it here here is already having this column is already having a fixed support okay at the foundations so you have to get rid of the fixed support by right clicking select the property all right so in the property dialog you will now get to the 3d provisions so you can see support type right here is support one now and now having support one and two right here so i will change it to none and then click on object so if i click on update now it's going to get rid of this support okay so you can see there is no longer support right here so if i now select here again and select support two the one i've just said i click on update so you see i have my support there okay so i will be using support one for all of that okay click on update all right so yeah you can see i have my support at this point you cannot proceed to carry out your building analysis if actually you have done with you are you have done with your loading successfully okay so that i can show you because as it is you cannot apply it your footings because this structure have not been analyzed right go to the analysis tab you can see your video analysis i see a red cross right there meaning it is not there uh, analyzed i'll say this project right away so now you have to you have to analyze this uh, project if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section or if you want to become a, a guru in the use of product structure you can join our master and professional level training product structure there will be a link in the description of this video and then you will really enjoy it okay most of our students are giving testimony of what they have learned so far okay it's beyond 
watching on this video on YouTube. Okay, so let's make progress. What are analysis for us to do that? Click on building analysis. I'll just take us through the aesthetic analysis. So, click on building analysis. We have here, uh, let's believe that all of this material has been uh, set successfully. Let's believe that the loading combinations have been generated successfully. Let's believe that the wheel load or the wheel speed has been key in, in the wheel calculator successfully. So, we move to the wheel analysis. You click on building model check now. Sometimes, when you model the structure, you will have to check it to see if your model has been, you know, well uh, or properly uh, uh, model successfully. So we click on the building model check to see if we have any error in our model. Okay, so as you can see, numbers of error in this model is just zero. Okay, we wouldn't have any error in this model. So, meaning this model is very, very okay. Okay, even with the, uh, you know, Variations in the foundations and college. Okay, the model is still okay. Meaning this is the right way for you to you know apply this kind of variations in a uh, protest structure. If it were not the right way, it could have been seen some errors uh, message as we check the model. Okay, so at this point click on the building analysis. Okay, so once click on build analysis, don't forget that this is protest structure 22. Okay, so we want to just run analysis, we only want to analyze and design at once. Okay, click on building analysis. So we will observe through the building analysis and see if there will be any error so you don't have to be patient for just some seconds okay the analysis will be over all right so build analysis is in progress all right let's see what happens okay although our our foundations anchorage differs in level okay and then we are running analysis let's see if that will pull some errors or we pull some warning on this model okay if you post see some errors, you will now have to know that uh, yes, this is not really uh, correct. But I know that yes, what we have done is very much correct, and I believe strongly that we wouldn't have any thing like error. Okay, so let's wait for some minutes for this analysis to be over. All right. So you can see building analysis uh, completed successfully and then relative story draft certified limit in both direction one and two. Okay, so we didn't have any issue. Everything is fine with this structure at this point. We may not necessarily go into our uh deal. Well, let's look at the foundations. So despite the fact that it is at this level one, you have this uh, uh these uh, foundations, and then it is at level two. That you have this other foundation where you want to insert or carry out your path footings, you need to go all the way to level zero. Okay, you have to go to level zero just at this level to be able to apply your path footing successfully. You can apply it at the level where you have the uh, foundations. Okay, you go to level zero zero, which is story zero right there. Okay, so now having gotten there, we navigate to the plan view of story zero, which you are going to see all of this column. Okay, you can see all of this column. Okay. These columns are not at the same level, but you might find them at level zero zero. Okay, when you want to carry out your foundations uh, uh, design. Okay, so at this point you can select the columns. Okay, you can hold the uh, control key to be able to select multiple columns. I only want to design it one by one, so it will not take us much time. So I will select all of that. Okay, I will select all of that. I will right click and then I'll select insert part footing. Okay, so insert path footing dialog is put in here is the dialog. I just want to design all of the footings at once. All right, so you see how this works. I will select the design all and click on design all. Okay, so this will take some seconds and then the whole of the footings will be designed successfully. After some seconds, the whole of the footings will be designed successfully. So once they are designed just like this is being designed, and then the foundation depth, uh, uh, the footing depth, you can see how varies so 500. I may not waste my time to edit this because I'm just using this to show us how to carry out uh, this uh, footing design when you have an undulated uh, terrain of foundations and college. So click on the OK options to have those uh, inserted successfully. Now I want to design this one. Okay. So uh, we have to select all of that. Right click and then select uh, insert path footing. Okay. So I will do the same thing. So the design all and then design all. So this will also carry out the design of this part. Path footing successfully just like this. Click on the OK options to have it inserted just like this. Okay. 
so at this point you can view this in 3d all right so you will have something of this kind okay so this is how you can carry out your uh, support okay at various level financial support to a column at various level and as well as uh, carrying out your bad footing instruction successfully okay so i believe you have learned one or two things don't forget to like do not forget to subscribe to this channel so freezing and also i'm inviting you to join a master class total structure the link is in the description of this video see you in the next presentations have a great day and bye for now